Okay, okay, we're back. Rock tunnel. I used to know what to do here, but I just don't anymore. Like, I used to, like, know. I didn't, like, know this place perfectly. But I just, like, used to know what was going on here. But I haven't played this game. I mean, I haven't been to this part of the game in a good minute, so. I have Flash on Arch because, uh, didn't want to use it on one of my in-game Pokemon. So you typically do with those. HMs. I wish Flash was a TM. I'd probably teach it something then. And this is going to be a Geodude? It is a Geodude. I would probably use Golem, but I've actually never seen the Golem in Molomon because uh, you got to trade Graveler, and uh, you can't really trade. So th th this game is literally cheating you out of the chance of getting a, a Golem. Mankey's three levels away from evolving, which is pretty sick. This guy, uh, hopefully he has... Well, I mean, he's a super nerd, so he's probably going to have a Magmite. Oh, no, that's not a super nerd. It's a Pokemaniac. And, oh, my God, this man is asking to get roasted. Hold up. All right, what I did was I took a screenshot of this man because he about to get roasted later. But uh, for now, he said he has a Cubone. I wonder what Marwag looks like. Uh, does the thick club item exist in this game? It probably does. Uh, I probably won't have one, though. I don't know if I'd use Marowak on the team. What other ground types are in Gen 1? Doug Trio, of course, which we found the level 31 Doug Trio. That scared me so much that I just ran away from it instantly. I'm like, oh, all right. We take those. Uh, but here comes Slowpoke. Slowpoke just, just looks like a regular Slowpoke. It's like making the exact same. Like, it's like, it doesn't even look like a different sprite. It's making the exact same. has, like, the exact same pose as a regular Slowpoke, you know? Like, lay on the ground, like, about to crawl over there. In the battle, but it doesn't. Yeah, that's Slowpoke. And uh, I should level up here. I think I'm gonna level up here. Let's go. And I can probably change my lead to Mankey so he can grow up to level 28. And uh, yeah, game over. Says Pokemaniac Ashton. He looks like cause like why did they, that's exactly what the super nerd looked like. There's a hiker over there. I might as well just change my lead spot. And, uh, oh, I have dig. I can't, I'm, I can, I can, I can use that, but I mean, I just gone to the cave, so that's probably not the smartest of ideas. And, uh, what is this? What is stopping us? A Zubat? All right, I'm actually faster than it, so I can just run. Like, there's one thing you don't want to get caught doing is finding a Zubat if you're not fast enough. I'm also, uh, about to pause the video again. Is there anything down here? I want, but I'll pause the video and come back to it later. All right, probably should have ran away from the Geo before returning the recording, but uh, I'm actually gonna fight this because I can level up, and I'll be two levels away from that young evolution. I think I'll level up, right? Yeah, Pokemon weren't that, or like the EXP levels, um, the EXP growth isn't that low. I'm gonna level up. Seismic Toss, that might be useful. What moves do I have? I can, can I replace it with something? I might see replacing it. Yeah, I'll replace it with, with uh, Leer for now. But I'll probably replace Seismic Toss soon after. Well, one more level and we got a young primate, which is always a good thing. And is there anything in this? Like, if they're, like, they're just rock smash rocks, I probably won't pick anything up. It's looking like that's what they are. So, uh, yeah. Alright, alright. If the button I pressed would press. Alright, there we go. I pressed. It took a long time, though. Uh, it looks nothing like, uh, looking like nothing but smashable rocks. Yeah, I'm actually gonna try on the repel right quick. Oh, turn, I should say, use the repel. Do I even have any? I do not. In a classic Ball 5 fashion, Forgetting the repel before going to the giant cave. The truest Marcus the Boss combo. Truer than any combo video you will see. Any Smash Bros. combo video. But Oh wait, I was going to say Machamp would be a cool Pokemon to have. But I remember the trade thing. So yeah, same thing with Golem like I said earlier. Uh, But it would still be pretty great to have, I'd imagine. Okay, there's a Pokeball over there and I can't grab it because wild Pokemon are coming out of nowhere. I, I, I always wonder this about Fire Red. Like, can Golbat actually evolve into Crobat in Fire Red, or does it, or like, does it not let you because it only has Gen One Pokemon? Like, if you guys know that, can, I like to see some answers. It goes, 
Crobat would be a pretty interesting Pokemon to use in a Fire Red team. I just don't know if Golbat actually evolves. Because, like... Yeah. I should actually go look that up. Repel. The Savior. And I'll probably use it a lot later. But, uh... I just can go take the time to look that up. Uh... Like, that would make sense if he could. Alright, so just looked it up just now. I probably could have paused the video and then because it's just gonna be stuck on uh this Pokemon trainer dude over here. Just uh standing here, but uh yeah, go back to Sound of Ball. You have to beat the game first, so I don't see the point. And Golbat's probably pretty good in this game though. Let's be honest. Uh if I ever like I might do uh the Moam on Fire at a run back, which is basically I just play the the way did I get stuck? I feel like I got stuck. I'd love to have more multiple repels so I can just use one and not end up wasting it. Like, if I use a Yep, I'm stuck. I'm not going all the way back there just so I can find another wild po uh, another series of wild Pokemon. And if I have an escape rope, I'm not using it. I'm just gonna straight up. No, no, no. How many escape ropes do I even have? One? Alright, I'm just gonna. I mean, dig. It's like the. Yep. Let's go all the way back through 10. I know what I'm doing. This episode's just going to be Rock Tunnel, so however long it takes is however long the episode is, basically. Uh, and then I'll go through the other stuff. I'll record another episode, like, right after. Alright, so we started here. And, uh... Did I go to the... I think I... Oh, what the... That's the entrance? I legitimately don't know where to go, then. Like, something wrong with the cave, it's just me having a general bad sense of direction. Like, okay, there's nothing over there. Uh, that was a Pokemon. Like, I like the newer games when the Pokemon and the Pokemon sense the same place. I was gonna say, let's go back over there and buy some, uh, po uh repels. And I realized it's a Pokemon Center. And I'm like, crap. Alright. Can I go down there? Uh, we might be able to. Wild Pokemon would, st would stop appearing every 10 seconds. It would be pretty ideal. Uh, I guess you can't get Steelix in this game either. Steelix would be dope in this game. Uh, there's like, that's the only way. I can't. I cannot. Alright, my chop. Like I said, my champ would be awesome, but, uh. Uh, no legendary, or no trading. Oh, okay. I didn't see that. If I saw that pathway, everything would be amazing, but I didn't. So I'm just running into my chops here. Uh, not like I care. This guy better have a Magnemite, because he looks like a super nerd. And super nerds tend to use Magnemites. I draw illustrations of Pokemon when I'm home. Is it going to be another of those Pokemaniacs I just need to set up a huge rose for? Yup. Can you at least have a Pokemon weak to fighting? Oh, wait. They always use Slowpoke. That's a general rule of the Pokemaniac. And I know Slowpoke can learn confusion and whatnot, but I'm still going to go into Ivysaur just because... One, Ivysaur will live. Two, Ivysaur will kill it. And uh, three, and he just goes for Growl anyway. So yeah, go into Ivysaur. Uh, hit him with the Razor Leaf. And, uh, oh, it lived. Well, I mean, it's living, but it's dead. Okay. So uh, he's dead to confusion, though. Or No, I'm not dead to confusion. That did a lot. Slowpoke is a threat. Slowpoke's broken. Ban Slowpoke. Please. We need to. It's not ruining the metagame. It's uh, destroying the metagame with that confusion damage. Like, calm down, son. Uh, I, I, this, I hate when I go to caves and I don't know what I'm doing. And there's two, like, there's two pathways, but I don't know what I'm doing. I hate that. Like, I don't know if I go to the left and 
and then I'm like, okay, I'll go to the left first, and there's a Pokeball, and then there's gonna be a wild Pokemon. That's the thing. Oh, another Mankey, not bad. Another one. And, uh, our Mankey over here. When he gets level 27, I'm gonna wear a candy. I don't even care. Where Revive, that might be useful, because if they have more slow pokes, Ivysaur is gonna have to put in some extra work and he might faint because of the confusion. One thing I just noted is that, or not noted, realized, or remembered, rather, I should remember would probably be the better one. One thing I just remembered is that Ivysaur falls to level 32, which is earlier than what War Turtle and Charmeleon of all that, which is pretty nice. And, uh, Oddish has a power to move, but I'm still gonna go Pidgeotto because it's missing. Uh, it's not missing, it's probably not missing. I'm about to get punished for this. Alright, yeah, Stone Sport. I see you right now. Yeah, I have paralyzed heels. I bought like like a million of them for the lieutenant surge fight. Didn't even use them. Uh so it's all good. It's dead now. And I can probably use the paralyzed heel. Depending on what the next poke oh, it lived. Okay, so if I don't get off this quick attack, I'm using it. Oh I could have aerialized it when it died. I wanted to save my PP. That's PowerPoints, kids. <laughs> PP. <laughs> I'm not even sure, I swear. I, I wasn't just laughing at the fact that you just said PP in my game. Alright? So, yeah. I don't really know what to say at this point. I might be... Oh, Bulbasaur. Looking like me at the beginning of this game. And, uh... Hold up. I better press start. I need to go to Paralyze. I still have 7. It's alright. Arch Bulbasaur just stun spore me right now. Okay, I did been so salty. Except not really, because I have... Still have, uh... More. What are they called? Paralyzed heels. So I had a lot of them, so I wouldn't even have cared. And uh, 301 EXP, that's pretty nice. Starters give a lot of EXP. Like, that's just a general thing. So if, uh, yeah, I might do the Moemon Fire at a run back, which is basically where I just play this game with a different team. Like, you might see me choose Squirtle, Charmander, who knows. I don't know what other Pokemon I'm using. I, like, is there a way to get a Thunderstone early? Because I might have a Raichu if I choose uh, Char Charmander, but you never know. You never know if I'll even do it. I do not know about Pokemon cosplay, fam. Even though I'm playing a game that... I'm playing Pokemon cosplay the game, dude. Uh, is he going to have a Slowpoke? Nope, Charmander. Alright, I'm leading with... Not Ivysaur. I am leading with Ivysaur. And uh, my switch will probably be Pidgeotto out here. Just because it has more defense than... uh. Uh, Mankey, so it can take the hit better. Oh, smoke screen and the keen eye, and I was aerial icing anyway. That this man got a uh, doubled, double the uh, whatever it's called. I'm trying to think of the word. I can't. Uh, I'm just gonna go for the quick attack. Like aerial is a nice move because, uh, especially if you pick bulbs when your rival has uh, Charmander and whatnot, they're gonna try to. Uh, He's gonna wanna go for a lot of that that dare smoke screen. And uh yeah, like Charmander and Syndicool with the smoke screen. Like just in the beginning of the game. I'm pretty sure Charmander or not Charmander, Syndicool learns smoke screen before he learns Ember, which is pretty crappy if you pick it, because like you like hello. Uh Totodile learns like water gun, I think. And Chikorita learns Razor Leaf, and then Charmander has like has to grow a few more levels before Ember because the game decided to make him learn. All right, I'm going the right way. I, for a second, I thought I uh, went the wrong way. Am I still leading Ivysaur? Yes, that's a yes. All right, one thing I noticed a lot that I've been pausing a crap ton in this, these videos. I don't even know how long I've been recording for. I just know I've been recording. Uh, his Pokemon techniques. He will leave me crying. I'd like to see that. He's gonna have Graveler. I'd cry if he had a Graveler because Graveler is gonna be annoying. Nope, just as a geo dude. Easy Vinyl Whip. Easy money. Level 25 though. I think that's higher level than anything anyone else had. Maybe someone else had like level 25. Who knows? The other guy had a Charmander. It wasn't level 25. Uh, so yeah, Hiker Allen has been defeated. And I think there's a bucket who also said I give later on in the game, so that's two.
people who've said that so far. Not that there's anything, not that there's anything wrong with that, but uh, maybe that's the Bowcatcher's dad. It's like one thing I just realized now. Like I never realized this before, but I'm just now realizing that bug catchers are like the same age as youngsters, dude. Like, like I thought the bug catchers were like teenagers or like young, like young men or something. But no, they're they're they are like uh, uh they are like youngsters. Like maybe just a little bit older than youngsters. Who knows? All I know is that that hiker might have been that bug catcher's dad, and. Uh, uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna, like, change the subject out of this matchup I'm battling with the Vinyl Whip. Nice two-hit. I'm probably gonna use a Super Potion on my Ivysaur after this, just because I just got hit up with a Seismic Toss. Looking like the Mankey I have, because it just learned Seismic Toss. Or S-Toss. Uh, whatever you want to call it, I don't really care. I'm not gonna fight you. Onyx? Uh, like, Ivysaur leveling up would be amazing, but Mankey getting EXP would, it would be also amazing. Like I said, I'm just gonna wear candy when it levels up. I'll be closer to being able to wear candy when it levels up if I just kale this Onyx with it. You know? It, the setup is beautiful. This episode's gonna be really long, probably, because all I'm doing is, even though all I'm doing is Rock Tunnel, uh, it takes a long time, alright? Like, you cannot rush perfection, aka me. Uh, so that's why stuff like, uh, Navigating caves always takes a long time. So if I were to play another game, another one, I'd probably be taking this long to navigate through a cave again. And uh, there's a ladder over there. I wanted to battle that guy, though. That's the only reason I went over to that guy to battle him. I mean, like, that's the only reason you woke up to anyone. Uh, people usually don't see you if you do that. Uh, and once again, a fork in the cave. Two paths to choose from. And since I don't know what I'm doing, Hiker Lenny... I probably should have screenshotted that so I could have made a thumbnail out of it, but, uh, who knows? Vine Whip? And I'm running out of Vine Whip PP. Razor Leaf is ultimately, objectively better than a Vine Whip. I don't know why Chikorita learns a Razor Leaf, and then Bulbasaur learns Vine Whip. And then Trigo has Absorb. I forgot what Turtwig had. He has Razor Leaf, too. Um, I should, I should know that, because I, I'm playing Platinum. That was my starter. Snivy has, I think Snivy has Vine Whip, and then, uh, Chespin also has Vine Whip, I'm pretty sure. So, I think, I do think Trico has a Razor Leaf later, though. Don't quote me on that. Because I'm probably wrong. Who knows? I might play Emerald on this channel. No, I, I might, if I'm playing a third gen game on this channel, it's gonna be either Ruby or Sapphire. I suck at Emerald. Like, I couldn't get out of, no, I couldn't get, I couldn't beat the second gen. But then again, it, in my defense, no Johns, but I had uh, a Beautifly and a Marsh Stomp. I don't even think it was a Marsh Stomp yet. Oh, and a Marill. So, uh, of course, I wasn't beating it. This guy just has an onslaught of Geodude and Matchup. I think this is a trainer battle. Yeah, I would have ran away if it was a wild Pokemon. Is this the last Pokemon, though? It is. He had four Pokemon. Hiker Lenny. Aerial Ace, this? I should probably be using my Gus until it gets low on PP. Then I can have my Aerial Aces. But, uh, I'm over here for a reason. I know what I'm doing. Can't wait for Mickey to level up. I'll just wear candy that boy, like, instantly. So, I'm gonna go left, because I'm left-handed, if you didn't know. Oh, it's just the... Alright. It's that trainer over there, so it's like the same way, like, this left one was just slightly longer, but I get to battle this guy if I go this way. So that's going to be what I'm going to do. Hopefully he has more than one Pokemon so Mankey can get back in battle. Uh, if you're standing here, like, just standing there, doing nothing, I think you are lost in here, son. Hike your all over with the Onyx. Uh, yeah, I'm going to run out of my whips, but I have, like, 20-something Razor Leafs. So it don't even matter, unless, of course, like, Alright, on Onyx again, so I'll go into Mankey. Just because I want that level up, dude. I really want it. Now, Rare Candy, it, you guys can see it evolve. Break, break. I also gotta remember, I have some Karate Chop and Seismic Toss in the back. So, like, I can use those, but I don't know if Brick Break 
or if those will be enough to kill because they're not as strong as a geodude i'll stay in here this is all for the exp like if these guys had all right i don't like a break break onyx is base 160 defense oh that lived too all right so uh I wanted to save some PP. He only got magnitude six, so it shouldn't be a threat. Because seven is the default. That's the one you'll get most often. It has like it's in the middle. Alright. Alright. Anyway, what was I talking about? I just paused the video for no reason. I forgot what I was even talking about when I paused. Do I have a regular potion? It would be pretty nice to use on Mankey right about now, you know? But I'm gonna like level it up with the rare candy. And uh, that's I always click the TM case instead of, nope, that's Pokemon. I want that. Uh, potion, potion, po I only have super potions. I have 17. It's not gonna matter. And, uh, we're about to get the Young Primate. Where's the rare candy? No misclick zone. And, uh, let's go. Mankey is evolving. Y'all already know. I don't have to watch, I don't even have to sit here and talk about anything. I can just watch it evolve. Let this part commentate itself. And he's here. We made it. Or I should say she's here because this is... Uh, yeah. I will not learn Rage. That move is... It's not useless. It's just like... It's not a bad move. Okay, it is a bad move, but like, for like, in-game things, it's not a bad move, it's just not better than the other options. Like, have you seen that? Like, it's like, it's like a common theme in Pokemon stats. This stat isn't bad, it's just not better than the other stats. Like, like Mewtwo's defenses, that's a really good example. Mewtwo's defenses aren't bad. They just aren't better than his other stats. And a Hiker Lucas, so we got Hiker Lucas, Hiker Lenny... Hiker Oliver is like the name diversity in this game is pretty great. I'm have like this is like my last line with but uh I like I said I have a bunch of razor leaves. So it won't even matter. Because razor leaf's a better move anyway. Uh Graveler, definitely gonna razor leaf that. Probably level up from the EXP and then be three levels away with Graveler. Yo. Graveler looks pretty dope actually. Uh Oh, I wish I could see what Golem looked like. The Geo Devolves level 25. This guy a hacker. Uh I just said this guy a hacker. This guy is a hacker. Alright, another I give. Another one. Maybe he's that guy's like if that's the Buckinger's dad. The other guy was the Buckinger's dad, and this is his uncle. I feel like I've been here. Nope. Alright, I can bend twigs as trailer marker. That's true, but Pokemon trainers don't pick up twigs. And a Jigglypuff. Ooh, I wish I could have the hard switch in the primate right now. It's gonna be hard to pull off because sing. But uh, who knows? Maybe I might. Maybe I might get it. I'm gonna do it anyway. And Jigglypuff goes for the pound. So, oh, crit. But whatever. I'm just gonna get this karate job. Don't need a wasted brick break. Jigglypuff's gonna die anyway. Rest in peace, Jigglypuff. Uh, but I don't really care. I wear candy. I rare candy to get the last level, but I mean I trained it up legitimately for like the rest of its training, so I don't even. I, that's not even an issue. Uh, so uh, yeah, we're looking pretty crisp here. Pidgey evolves level eighteen. You could have the Pidgey auto by now and be as cool as me. Um, uh, that's dead. And uh, EXP level up. Fuck, oh, that, that was like no EXP. I'm gonna stay in on this me out. Just for a bit more EXP, I want Pidgeot to level up, because it's a bit underleveled. Well, not underleveled, it's just lower level than my other two things, but I uh, wonder what Persian looks like. That's what I'm going to see when I see a Pokemon. I wonder what its evolution looks like. I wonder what uh, SP on a number I look like. Because, uh, like, yeah. Alright. Another hiker. Hopefully he has Machop so that Pidgeot can get back into battle. But what's likely going to happen is that he won't. Uh, And then, uh, I still grow level 29. I think it's close. Yeah, it's it's all types of close. Oh, I only had 21 razor leaves. That's that's still a lot. But there's a lot of trainers. There's all types of trainers up in here. So uh it's a good thing I have Primeape too, so I can use him to fight the 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 Geodudes and Onyx and everything. 
So um, it's not just solo hype, so to beat them up. Sweet scent, that move. Don't got much use. Because I'm not looking for a shiny, so I'm doing any kind of Pokemon hunting. So like it really. Uh, sweet scent's one of the moves that just doesn't have any use in the game. The only time you'll ever have sweet scent in games if a Pokemon that you caught in the wild had it, like an Oddish or something. Like if you catch a wild Oddish, you'll probably have that. That's the only time you'll be using it. Oh, like, you won't even be using it. It's, you'll just have it as a move on there because you caught it when it. I mean, because it had it when you caught it. Primes, rock in the boxing glove. That's pretty crisp. I think Graveler can die to Brick Brick now that I'm evolved. Uh, don't quote me on that because it's about to live. Nah, I think it's dead. I mean, Primate power. Primate is power. Yep, it's dead. And seven levels lower. Le seven levels lower, though. If you plan legit and not cheating, it would still be a Geodude anyway. Because Geodude was level 25. And uh, there's a nerd up there. You have a Pokedex? I want you. How did you get to Rock Tunnel without a Pokedex? Wasn't there that one guy? Like, doesn't, uh. There's one guy, like this old man in Viridian City. You cannot, or I forbid you to get through here. This is private property. And he's laying there. So he had to go get the thing from Oak and then, or go get the Pokeball for Oak. Or I, yeah, he said it's my custom Pokeball, right? Or was that Professor Elm? Please tell me in the comments, which professor uh, said they had a custom Pokeball? Because I really don't remember. I remember it was either Oak or Elm. Like, my money's on Oak. But I think Elm might have said he had a custom Pokeball. Who, who, I think, knows? I meant to click Aerial Ace, but I forgot. I didn't, like, it didn't register when I hit up on the arrow keys, so I quick tacked. Uh, I'll Aerial Ace here, though. All right, all right. That did nothing. He growled, didn't he? Yup, but I want the CXP for Pidgeotto. So, uh, I'll just sit through it. Uh, Aerialist has a pretty good amount of PP. And I'll probably be keeping Quick Attack. Ooh, nice crit. I'll keep in Quick Attack throughout the game. Just because it's that, like, that move that's really useful. And a Pidgeotto. Oh, Wing Attack! Let's go! I can delete Gust and have 260 power. Um. I have two 60 base power flying type moves, one that never misses, but I have keen eyes and ability, so if like they double team in, uh, I can hit them with the, 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 um, what was that move called? Aerial Ace, like, I, I seem to forget stuff a lot, but if they, like, they double team and I can Aerial Ace, because they're not gonna be lowering my own accuracy, and, uh, yeah. Oh, I'm surprised I haven't missed a Razor Leaf yet, because, like, the only thing Vine Whip even has over Razor Leaf is, the, is better accuracy. So, like, if you're trying to, like, if you want to KO a Geodude or something, you can Vine Whip it, because it'll die, and you won't waste a PP on Razor Leaf, and you won't risk missing the Razor Leaf either. I want to go pick up the item, but I really don't at the same time. I'll go do it. Why not? I'm going to go pause until I go pick up the item and get back to that ladder. All right, all right. How long have I been playing? Because, like, last time it was, like, five hours, I think. Almost six is probably almost seven. Seven hours. On the dot. But, uh, there's all types of trainers out here. Hopefully, that means that we're the end of Rock Tone. All right. I, it's not the dot. Oh, wait. I have Flash. That's right. I was going to say, it's not dark. And I realized I had Flash. So, it, like, I can't even see the dark. But, like, in this Pokemon trainer's eyes, it's probably dark AF right now. You ever wonder how, like, some events in Pokemon, they don't let you get past because you don't have a certain amount of badges, or you don't have, like, something that they don't, like, something that you don't have that, and they don't let you get past a point because you don't have that or something, and then you go, you finally get whatever they were requ require, requiring, and you go, and you get to the point where that they didn't let you get, I should have went to Primate, but I wanted to, but I forgot how to do that. But like I was saying, oh, minimize. This is why we have Aerial Ace. This is why we have Aerial Ace, son. This is why we have Aerial Ace. This is the reason. Get that crap out of here. And I crit. You deserve to get crit for running minimize. And, uh, yeah. What was I even talking about? I forgot. But, um, like, yeah, you see how, like, you had to do something, like, like, oh, you can't go here. You don't have a, this gem badge. Or, or uh, you need to have uh, 
this to be able to do something. And then you you finally get to where you uh, like they kept blocking you off this one spot. You finally get to it. You battle some trainers that are there. You see the teams they have. Do you realize? Um, okay, so if I needed at least six badges to get over here, and this guy's been here, can someone ask me or can someone talk about how he got six badges with and then two random Pokemon that not only both that are not only both really bad, or not bad. I can't say they're bad. And he goes out and two Pokemon that are not only under leveled AF. But also lose to whatever the sixth gym type was. I'm like, can we talk about how this guy got the sixth gym badge with that squad? Like the one guy who didn't have the Pokédex. That's what made me think about that. Like he said, you have a Pokédex, I want one. Or Tad is missing Hyper Fang. Or done a lot. But you know, we're playing Pokemon. You expect stuff to miss. Unless it's Aerial Laser or Keen Eye. Does Keen Eye prevent? You from missing even if they have evasion boosts. Like that would be pretty dope if it did. But then I wouldn't have a purpose for Aerial Lace except for well actually it does have a purpose. It's another uh, flying stab. Because you know having two stab moves in an in-game Pokemon is actually really underrated. Like having Surf and uh like a water like a surf Pokemon will probably have Surf and Waterfall. Even though you only click one. Ooh, a pearl. Pokemon Pearl. And I run into probably a Geodude trying to steal the pearl I just got. That ain't happening, fam. How long have I been recording? Probably like 30 minutes, I want to say. Who really knows, though? Yep. Like 31 some. But, uh. That won't stop me. What'll stop me is getting through this cave. Am I going the wrong way? Like, it feels like I'm going the wrong way. Like, it honestly feels like I'm going the wrong way. But I want this episode to just be Rock Tunnel. Oh, right, I can't run. So the item I picked up, I don't know if I said, oh, I think I said it. It was an ether. I probably already said that, though. And you guys are like, oh, it was a max ether, I should say. So there's a difference. There's a pretty big difference between Ether and Max Ether. So uh, Pidgeot is gonna get that level up right here. Um, Aerial Ace, which I'm only gonna PP for, but like, it's killing things, which it needs to do. And I'm gonna heal. You know what I liked about some of the newer games? Like, like I said, I might have already said this in an earlier episode. But I have never actually beaten a Pokemon game past, or that comes before Black White. Like, Black White was the oldest game I've beaten. I haven't beaten any game older than that. But I've beaten every game after it, too. So, uh, yeah. But don't take anything from me. Like, the only, like, the only thing you should actually leave about me in, about Pokemon, like, the actual games, not Showdown. Because, like, I'm a god on Showdown, so you should believe everything I say there. But, like, in the actual games... You shouldn't really believe much from me because I have I've used Golurk as a fly Pokemon in two games. And I've already said this before. But one thing that you can believe, like guarantee tr is truth, is that you guys know that Y Pokemon? Yeah. The letter Y. His name is pronounced Evil Tall. Oh, we made it, I think. You know what's gonna be make me really mad? This is Route 10 and I just U-turned around the entire thing. That would be that'd make me mad, but boy, it would be something to see. And uh it's Ruin City Lavender Town. That doesn't really tell me which one this is gonna be. But if it's Lavender Town, oh it's Route 10. So yeah, we're gonna get it Lavender Town, I think, right? Rock Tunnel. Alright. Yeah, I'm just gonna like This was the episode, guys. I'll record another one. Maybe right after, maybe not, probably not though. Oh my lord, I almost like Okay. So I had some icebreakers, and I almost choked on one, bruh. But, uh, we out. Bye-bye.